Fly Fishing First of all, fly fishing is a style of catching fish. It is a fun hobby or sport, something you can do alone or with your friends outside in nature. Thanks for joining us today. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to Dynamic Earth Learning for more science and sustainability videos. Now let's learn more about fly fishing. What's great about fly fishing is that you can do it in any type of weather. Fly fishing introduction. Fly fishing is a game where you trick the fish in order to catch it. Fly fishing gets its name from the hook used to catch the fish. These hooks look like a fly or any other flying insect or bug that fish like to eat. Let's go through what you need to play this game. What you need to fly fish. A fly rod, a fly line, a fly reel, flies, a fishing net, a fishing vest, waders. Don't worry if you don't know what these words mean. I will explain them to you. A fly rod is a type of fishing rod. It is one piece normally made of flexible wood or graphite. Fly fishing rods come in different lengths and sizes, normally around 7 to 9 foot long. Choose one that fits you. A fly line is a special kind of fishing line. It comes in three parts. Fly backing. This is the longest part of your line. It is thick and heavy. This helps you cast your fishing line as far as possible. It is the first part of the line attached to your reel. Fly leader. This part connects to your fly backing. It starts of the same thickness as your backing, then it gets thinner and harder for the fish to see. The ripper. This is the last part of the fly line and is almost impossible for the fish to see. The tippet connects fly. Flies are the hooks used to catch fish. They are a little bit different than common fishing hooks. Flies come in different shapes, sizes, and colors. They are made to look like different types of food that fish like to eat. They come in three types. Dry flies. Most fishermen prefer to use this type of fly. They're made to look like flying bugs that land and float on the water. Insects, flies, mosquitoes, moths, and dragonflies. Fish get attracted to dry flies when they land on the water and make ripples. Nymphs. These flies look like aquatic insects. Think of small caterpillars, grub, and worms. They usually float just under the surface of the water. Nymphs attract fish because they look alive, wiggling with the movement of the water. Streamers. A lot like nymphs, Streamers are made to look and act like aquatic creatures, but are larger. They're often used to catch bigger fish. Streamers are also called lures. A fly reel is a kind of spindle. It is used to coil your fly line around when storing. It typically holds the bulk of your fly line. When casting, your fly line will uncoil to give you length. When pulling or reeling in your fish, your fly reel will store away most of the fly line. A fishing net is a useful tool scooping up the fish. Fish nets help keep the fish from flopping around and injuring itself. A fly fishing vest is great to keep all your tools close at hand, so you don't have to move from your spot. Waders are waterproof boots, or boots with waist-high pants. Fish don't always come near the shore. Sometimes you will have to get into the water to get a little closer to where the fish are. Fly fishing how-to Fly fishing casting is the hardest part of learning how to fly fish. You should not be discouraged because once you've learned how to properly cast, it is also the most fun part. Casting is the action of flicking your fly rod, sending your fly line sailing through the air towards your target. This might seem like an easy technique used by most fishermen, but when fly fishing, you want your fly to have motion, imitating the natural movement of insects to attract the fish. This is why fly fishing takes a little more practice than normal fishing techniques. Live insects don't just land on the water and sit in one place. They constantly fly around from place to place. This is where the fun and games begin. Tricking the fish into chasing your fly and finally biting on it hooking itself to your fly line. You will have to learn how to whip your fly back and forth, landing it gently on the water. The easiest way to learn is by watching fly fishing in action. If you don't have anyone who can teach you, don't worry. There are hundreds of great videos on YouTube that give you step-by-step -step lessons on how to cast. Finding a spot for fly fishing. Fly fishing is most commonly done in small rivers or streams. Fortunately, you can also go fly fishing in ponds, dams, and lakes. Here are some tips for finding the right spot for you. Try to find a spot that is not busy. Too many fishermen can scare away the fish. You also don't want to compete with other fishermen to catch that big fish you're looking for. Find a large area with enough space to cast your fly line. You need enough space between you and any other fishermen. You don't want to get your lines tangled. Look for somewhere beautiful. It's great to have nice scenery to look at when fishing. Find somewhere quiet and peaceful. Fish tend to scare away from noise. Best fly fishing in the U.S. The United States is a beautiful country and offers some of the best fly fishing waters in the world. 
Here is a list of the top eight fly fishing states in the U.S. Alaska, Florida, Montana, Idaho, New York, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Oregon. Fly fishing versus regular fishing. First of all, what is regular fishing? There are so many types of fishing that can fall under the name of regular fishing. To keep it simple, regular fishing is any type of fishing that does not use fly fishing equipment or fly fishing techniques. Regular fishing equipment varies, but its main difference are in the rod and lure, which is a fly in fly fishing as we discussed above. The rod is generally smaller than a fly fishing rod and are stronger. This can assist you in catching larger fish. The lure is heavier than a fly and does not always look like an insect or fish. Live bait is also commonly used. Regular techniques are simpler and easy even for a beginner. You simply cast once and wait for the fish to bite. Casting is easier because the weight of the lure and the hook sail further through the air. The lure itself moves like a fish in the water and attracts the fish. Fly fishing safely. Bring a few friends when you go fly fishing. Remember, safety comes first. It's a fun group activity and having your friends around to help if something goes wrong is important. Wear the right gear. Dress up for the weather. Bring extra clothing even when it's sunny. Make sure you bring waders and an extra set of clothes to change into. It's important to stay dry. Don't forget to wear boots. Fishing spots are rocky and slippery. Bring a first aid kit. In case of any emergencies, be sure to have a stocked first aid kit to handle any injuries. Now go out for some outdoor fun with your friends and family. Surprise them all when you catch your first big fish. Thanks for joining us today. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to Dynamic Earth Learning for more science and sustainability videos. Thank <laughs> you.